right, so these are the ingredients for the barbecue crock pot chicken. So I will try to list them off as best I can. I didn't really measure too much. So I'm just using about, let's say, a quarter cup of olive oil just to kind of layer the bottom of the crock pot with. All right, so I put in about half a cup of barbecue sauce, any kind of chicken and rib barbecue sauce or whatever your favorite barbecue sauce is will work. All right, I'm just pouring in about a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. I'm putting in about two tablespoons of freshly squeezed orange juice. A tablespoon of Worcester sauce and just a couple squirts of Dijon mustard one clove of garlic through my garlic press pinch of salt and pepper over top and this will sit in the crock pot for about four hours so I set the crock pot on high for four hours and then after an hour I set it down to low for another three hours
All right, I'm gonna head to Michael's and see what kind of spring decor they have out. Um, I'm not one for doing a bunch of spring decor just because I feel like after Christmas, I just wanted to be clutter free with the boys. They always have stuff laying around. So I am just gonna go look and see what they have and I will let you guys know how the chicken turned out. Um, I looked through a recipe, but then I kind of just started adding my own things to it so I will let you know how that turned out. So this is what I got at Michael's, just a couple of stems of just natural um, pieces. I was going between the long wheatgrass and these, uh, I think these will sit nicer in my glass vase. And then these are just faux plants and I have a taller vase to put those ones in. So I will clean up the vases and put them together and just put them out and show you guys what they look like. All right, there is the first piece that I put together and I just put it on this white desk that I have in the living room. I had some pink sparkly plants there that I had for Christmas, so freshened it up a bit. And I just put the second arrangement in the other room on my big desk. Um, adds a little bit of something to the table. So yeah, I really like the way they turned out. They're just really messy at first. So I think once you've got them in their place and they're not going to be, uh, you're not going to be touching them, nothing will fall out, but they were very messy to put together. After cooking the chicken for four hours, I pulled it with some forks and then just served it on a crusty roll and it turned out so good. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys again soon.